There was a main building that measured 32 by 400 feet long. At that time, on the north, the wall was made of concrete blocks and had a window at every 20 feet. And on the south, it was a wall of wood panels covered with black paper on the outside. It was probably with the intention to expand on that side, and that's what happened, but it stayed like that for a long time. A wood panel wall with black paper on it. The steel arrived from Europe and was unloaded at the Quebec City port. From there, we would ship the steel by van to St. Gideon. At that time, there wasn't a warehouse and cranes, so we would unload the steel using steel bars. Because we didn't have a warehouse, the steel was scattered in the yard. The foreman would attach a bundle of steel to his car and pull it. His tires would spin in the gravel. We would succeed in bringing the bundle in the plant with his big green monarch. Sometimes, when he wasn't able to pull the bundle, men would stand up on his rear bumper to avoid the tires from spinning. When the bundle was close to the plant, we would untie it and bring the bars in, one by one. 